Hi folks, it's Double. This is Demon Souls. Now, I'm uh, here in the Nexus and I've uh, repaired my weapons and uh, repaired my armory and my uh, uh, various bits and pieces. So we are going to do the Archstone of the Chieftain and it's the Valley of Defilement. So I'm going to warp to that area fast travel to that area, whatever you like to call it. Um, now, I'm not sure how far I'm going to get uh, through this level, but we'll give it a go. Um, I'm not sure I've got the necessary upgrades at this stage. Um, but um, let's see if we can make some progress here. So, um, right, I mean... I don't think there's anything to pick up here as it were and you have to be careful here you can just drop off the edge um, oh there is an item to pick up here examine royal lotus yeah I think poisoning is a worry here so it's worthwhile putting my shield up and just keep climbing and then we'll meet somebody along the way an unpleasant dreadling there he is. Couple of hits and he's down. I can read the message. Beware of the floor ahead indeed, because uh, it's very easy to trip up here. There's a couple of routes now. I could have gone the other way, but on this occasion, I'm going to go this way. And we can pick up various items. Okay, now fire is an issue here. Maybe I can just drop down and attack him. Maybe. We got a bit lucky there. Right, and there's more trouble up ahead and you can see the dreadlings down there they've got these long sticks as well I have to be particularly careful keep my shield up yeah target wait for his attack first and then take him out Best to proceed nice and slowly. Ooh. Right now I'm in trouble. There's three of them. There's another one there. Here. Oh, he's dead. Oh, he's dropped. So you have to be exceptionally careful here. And let's see how far we can get. Pretty creepy place. Now this guy's got the long stick, so wait for the attack. And the thing to do here is to lead them back, uh, maybe here. Now, I'm a bit lucky here, but I can do some healing. And of course, my magic disappears, uh, but that will do for the time being. Have I got any more grass? No, I've only got one half moon grass, so um, this is looking ominous. Um, I'm not going to be able to progress too far, but... Um, Let's continue. And they're hiding. I'm just wondering if it's worth going up there. 
there's a few bits and pieces there you see to pick up so it might be worth traveling back can we even travel back that is the question Did we, where did we, did we drop? Yeah, it looks like we dropped here. Break this down. We kind of dropped. So there's no way to get back up as far as I can see. Um, so we'll leave that for the time time being. And we will just, uh, just progress. You see, up there is when I where I want to be. But... Um, we can move forward nonetheless. And there's an item there I can pick up. There's another dreadling down there with a long stick. So this is the guy you've got to watch for. Oops. I've fallen. But I can climb back up again. I keep falling. Now, where am I headed? I'm not quite sure where I'm headed. This is where I've just come from. So I've completely lost my bearings there. So we're heading down, as it were. We just kind of spiral downwards. Keep the shield up. There's a guy on the bridge. You can read the message. Right, well, there's a guy on the bridge, so be careful here. I think he was asleep. I think he was asleep. Black turpentine, very handy. Right, now we are kind of in bother here. Wait for the attack. And then run. Get your stamina back. And then... We are through. Examine the corpse. And pick up your grass. And proceed. Yeah, they're, they're half asleep, these people. These dreadlings. They were absolutely sleeping. Now, I've not seen that before. They're usually at least awake. But... Uh, it appears they've changed, uh, perhaps they've changed some of the mechanics here. So, um, I don't think there's any way through here. It just looks like a very nasty drop. But we can go this way. Now here, this is interesting because there's a drop here and it's worthwhile taking these guys out. And in order to do that, we need the, uh, the bow and arrow. So let's, uh, let's uh, switch uh, our weapons, equipment and unequip that and let's look for the uh, the bow okay oh I missed Missing. We're all kind of hiding there. Is he going to walk away? Got one. Right. 
Got him. Oh, I'm keep missing. This bow is just awful. And you have to be incredibly patient here because they just go back and forth and you just have to pick them off like this. And of course, they have to be in the right position for you to get them. And as you can see, once they run back, they're safe again. And he's run to safety again. So you're just going to have to pick them off uh, rather slowly uh, in this fashion and just wait. And of course, eventually they don't even bother uh, uh, creeping out. I got one. Got him. That's two. Any more? There's another guy down there. There's something shaking down there. Or is that just the dead body? So at this point, it might be worthwhile uh, re-equipping my... Um, Unequip that, and we'll go back to my uh, sword. Shield up, perhaps. I'm just going to drop down and attack. Let's run to safety. You can see there's a couple of guys with long sticks. So uh, it might be worthwhile doing some healing. Yeah. And uh, let's pick up somebody thing to do is just run forward get the first one to come forward and the same again with the second one let's just target him wait for him to strike and then go in for the attack and kill uh, right so now we've got two options we can actually drop down here but um, in this instance, it's probably not a good idea. I'm not sure if I'm uh, uh, kind of fully equipped. But there is a fog gate here. Let's enter the fog gate. Shield up. Some goodies, perhaps. Royal Lotus. And uh, we can uh, walk down. Slowly. Yeah, there's one or two down there. There'll be more where that came from, no doubt. Yeah. I thought there would be. I thought they might be hiding. We've got some faint stone and uh, an item to pick up here. Uh, hero soul. Right, let's look at our status there. And you can see our health is down, so we might want to um, look at our inventory again. Um, and look at equipment, actually, because there we can, um, we can set items here, so... There's some spice there, Old Spice. And actually, so we're okay, because what I can do is um, I can um, switch to Old Spice, consume that, so we get our magic back. I can then heal as need be. Back to full health, back to my sword, and we can proceed again over this little bridge. And I think this is the nasty one because I think there's a, there's going to be a bit of poisoning going on. So now at this point it might be worthwhile having the Royal Lotus because uh, uh, I think the Royal Lotus prevents us from uh, getting poisoned uh, or should I say is a cure for poisoning. But let's, uh, let's proceed and let's see if we can survive here now. Uh, there's possible danger on both sides here. Uh, I'm a bit worried. I'm a bit worried. There we go. Oh, 
I'm going to just run off. So as you can see, there's danger there on both sides. Here, we, here he comes. Well, that's got rid of one of them. Let's run through. Any more? Now these big red uh, throbbing uh, items there, what do you call them? Let's take out the dreadlings first. Read the messages. A bad guy lies in wait ahead. Well, we can just... Um, we're just going to proceed, examine. Oh. You're coming from all directions there. Pick up item. Stone of ephemeral eyes. Cannot carry. It would overburden you. But what is it? It doesn't tell you what it is, you see. Um, so. It might be worth dropping some items here to pick that up. But the other thing, of course, is these throbbing bulbs here. These red bulbs are poisonous. So we've got the Royal Lotus, and I'm hoping that's good enough. Uh, but the other thing is, these bulbs, I think they, um, they uh, basically release some insects. And uh, I can't really take out these insects with, uh, with uh, this sword. So let's have a look at our equipment and let's see, have we got anything else there? Let's unequip that and let's, find, let's see if we've got anything that might work. We need a long pokey stick really and I've not got one. So this is not good, this is not good. And I'd love to pierce these for you and, 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 and die, but... Um, um, but um, do I really want to do that? Mm. Well, we can take the, um, the sword and we can give it a shot, I guess. Well, let's try one at a time. Let's just target one of them. Okay, and there you go. You see the insect there? Ooh. Now, let's, okay, let's... Did I get him? Examine the corpse? Yeah. Got one of them. As you see, it's pretty difficult to get them with the... Uh, but we can go down. And, and, and there he is. Going down. sword here. Did I get it? Yes, I got it. That's what I'm talking about, those horrible, horrible cockroaches. But now we've reached a nice little spot here and we can talk to the lady. Won't you buy something? My poor child is hungry. Indeed. Uh, her poor child is hungry. This lady here, we can buy some stuff off her. The key things to buy here are obviously uh, a Royal Lotus. But Widow's Lotus is handy. Uh, Black Turpentine is very, very handy. So I'm going to buy that. At least two of those, I think. Because it's maybe some Widow's Lotus, which again is pretty rare. Finished already? My little uh, one is a growing boy. Please be generous. I think I've been pretty generous with you. 
Um, so uh, sh this lady here in the Valley of Defilement, this is a good point to stop um, and take a rest. And I'm going to save uh, uh, my progress so we can go to system and uh, oh, uh, quit the game, quit the game. Can we quit the game? Quit game and return to the title screen. That's not quite what I wanted. So is there anything else? Inventory, status, perhaps? No. So if we go to system, quit game, and return to the title screen, I'm guessing that will have saved, um, saved our progress. But thank you for watching. That was Demon Soul. Is the Valley of Defilement. Uh, if you enjoy my content, uh, don't forget to hit the like and the uh, subscribe button. And uh, I will see you in the next uh, video. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.